through the afternoon <clears throat> and it's some time for Gran Turismo 7. There was a time for us at the Corsa yesterday. I switched to a less simulator, more simcade. Continue with the cafe menu books. And uh, the next one is number 25 championship, European championship. Let's see what the requirements are. How was your practice run at Dragon Trail Gardens? Feel good? Now it's time for you to take on the European Championship. Your aim is to finish in the top three overall. Good luck out there. No, I didn't click start, so here we go. BMW Empower. So, introduction, Aston Martin. Porsche. Okay. <clears throat> I'll take that Lambo, please. Or the Porsche. Menu book number 25, Championship European. Championship. First of all, what kind of car am I? It has to be road car from Europe, national A license. Uh, that's what I have at the moment. What is the PP requirement? That's something I don't know. 600. So it would be good to use a 600 car. <clears throat> oh, I think I only did one race in the BMW, so that may be a good car to use. I did uh, a few races in that uh, Alfa Romeo. So yeah, let's go with the BMW. So we have Dragon Trail Gardens, Autodromo Nazionale, Monza and Nürburgring Grand Prix uh, layout. So we have two guys to listen to. And if I remember correctly, that BMW is an H pattern car. So that was, that's going to be fun. Bevois, I think that's how it's pronounced. Bevois, Bevois. I learned how to drive from my father. Am I dating? Why, Gran Turismo, of course. Okay. That was cringe. The Alpine A110 is a beautiful machine, lightweight midship sports car with a short wheel base. It's got everything I want in a car, even so, I couldn't help but tune mine a little. Actually, now looking at the list of the cars, I wish I had the, <clears throat> the AMG. I wish to go and buy one and drive that with AMG. Nah, let's stay in that. Uh, let's stay in the BMW. Mm, a quick look at the settings, car settings. So, no, no car settings. Assist, manual, ABS. Yeah, the car definitely has ABS. So everything. Yes, it should be. At least now I'll be starting with the proper, prof, proper profile applied. a little bit of the grass there. Nine eleven turbo, what a beautiful car. Uh, 
and the Color RS, a bit newer model. Still, that uh, the design of Porsche is timeless. Cone touch. One of the best Lambos ever. He slowed down more than I expected. I need to be chasing that Mercedes in P1. I really don't like that car. I think it's ugly. Doesn't look like it's the Mercedes if you want. The Lopez in another BMW, it is. Interesting, feels like the BMW in front is uh, faster and straight. Way too early there. sideways there. Never used a fifth gear in that race. There was no need.
Ah, so he had actually a newer model of, so I, I wasn't aware I'm driving the old uh, 07 model of that M3. <clears throat> Maybe that's why it was uh, faster and straight. Next one. That would be good to have something really fast here on straights. Maybe actually I should look into the tuning of that car. Uh, is there any air I can? There is a downforce here. And lower the front and lower the back. Measure it and <clears throat> change the performance rating. Acceleration a little bit. Okay. We'll see if that's going to change anything on straight. Uh, let's listen to Lopez and Hunter. What do I like about the M4? Good question. The speed, obviously, but also the fact that it can carry your luggage and also looks super cool. Nice to meet you, I'm Hayden Hunter. My favorite car is the Lancia Delta HF Integrale Evo. There's one in the place, in the fifth place. I love the Jugario design, it's so cool. I've tuned mine just for this race. A Gugario, maybe, I'm not, so, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, let's start. Let's go. Third gear. It's always a good gear to start with. I forgot uh, how much I like that start of any race and bonds of those airplanes. Definitely break too early. Oh, at least I can use that fifth gear now. Porsche was quite slow in this corner. That compromised my exit and the top speed at the end of the straight. Okay, <clears throat> my leg was too quick for my hand. I released the clutch before I before the gear engaged. I'm doing three wide here. Oh. That was a bit surprising. I didn't want to crash into the Lamborghini. Luckily, I avoided it, and I still over overtook all of them. I don't know when to start breaking here. I kind of hope the game will allow me to do it. I was definitely too late on brakes there. I have to start breaking early next time. I think in Gran Turismo Sport you couldn't uh, do that escape route, the game would reset your car. 
on deck on track, so that was pretty cool. I may have a problem catching up the first one, it's still 10 seconds. Eight seconds. Oh, closer to seven now. One lap and one corner left. messed it up. Wasn't breaking hard enough. Didn't expect that uh, <coughs> oversteer there. I expected your game. That breaking was my last chance. Here we go. Finish line in first, so that's uh, two out of two so far. One more race. This time it's Nürburgring. So from Italy to Germany. Rubilar, the only person to listen to. Uh, Lopez is a BMW fan as well, and we're big rivals in the truck. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his first name. To be sure, my M3 might be quite a lot older than his car, but my skill will get me to the top, as usual. Well, that, we'll see that to that. Uh, car settings... Let's bring that back to default. Maybe I'll try a bit more. Maybe actually I'll try, uh, maybe not maximum, but let's see. Oh, this is the difference and how it feels. There we go. 
for the race. Oh, it's raining at Nürburgring. Great. Shift. Definitely a better truck than Monza. Much more interesting. I'm personally not a big fan of Monza. I find I find that truck quite boring. Long straights with just a few hard corners. Or maybe not hard but tight. The chicanes and Nurburgring has so much more good identity, elevation change, fast and slow corners, some straights, the overall layout of the track is so much more interesting. From the point of view of driving on it in a sim game or sim game, game and from the point of view of watching any races on it. Oh, they're breaking here. Uh, at least that Aston Martin was breaking. <laughs> Just... It crashed into me like I wasn't there. Of course it was Volkswagen driver, right? That cost us some time, unfortunately. I love that Lamborghini, I won't be holding back. I need to chase the P1. Schumacher SS happened to be harder than I expected on this lap. They, uh, they hold some surprises there. That was some slide, more than a twitch. Luckily I caught that car before it spun out of control. realize it stopped raining actually. Don't need the swipers anymore. That was the guy who said he will be first. Well, he's not. He's 
fifth at the moment. I need to pay more attention to changing those gears. Oh, those were three misshifts in one short race. Mercedes had a bit of a twitch there and I wasn't sure where he's going to position that car. Let's chase that BMW in P1. Lopez. The new SPNW on that in that race. I tried fourth gear this time instead of third, like on the previous lap. I outbraked him, and I'm on P1. Just one chicane and one two corners and it's a finish line. And it's free free. Quite an advantage at the finish line. I wasn't expecting that. A bit of juice to keep me hydrated. Just below seven minutes in that race. And it's another win. And it's a three out of three. And finally a clean race bonus. And here we go, a four-star roulette ticket. I think that's my first four-star roulette ticket. And some more cash and a Ford Focus Dodge Challenger, was it? And Corvette. Uh, last time I went left, I'll go right this time. Ford Focus. Okay. I would prefer the Challenger RT70, but yeah, okay. Can be Focus. That's the best they have to offer. I'll take it. Collector level 13. It's quite low, I guess. But we'll get there. No rush, no rush. Focus is nice, to be honest. It's a nice looking hot hatch. Uh, so that will be that focus I just uh, earned. Let's have a quick look to, <clears throat> to get rid of that indicator that there is something new. French, Japanese, United Kingdom. It's interesting that Ford is in the United States. Uh, well, I know why it's in the United States, but focus I would expect to be more kind of German. I didn't know that Focus is manufacturing in the States. But yeah, Ford is American company, so let's not complain about this. Uh, let's do that uh, roulette of despair. I don't think I've ever got something. No, I've never got something more than the lowest price, so I don't. I'm not expecting any fear. Here we go. As always. I think I'm going to celebrate once I get something more. Uh, and if I get the top price, oh my gosh, I'm going to open the champagne. Cool. The BMW did the job. Let's complete that uh, menu book. Well done for winning the European Championship. Uh, your reward is ready to collect from the usual place. 
Arno Springs, uh, a new cafe book. And do we want to listen to Chris if he has anything to say about the BMW? I've heard about your performance, you know. Congratulations on fantastic victory. Oh, and by the way, the E92 M3 is the fourth installment in the BMW M3 series that began with the E40. I listened to that already. I just realized. So let's scroll through that quickly. Not waste the time. Menu books, the new number 26, collection Ford. We already have the RS18. Well, which reminds me. Okay, let's stop that book. Let's go to the old circuits. Let's go to you. What's first on the left hand side? Americas. And what's in Americas? The Blue Moon Bay Speedway. So both one, okay. The next one is Trial Mountain Circuit first, okay. Uh, this is third circuit and I haven't took part in the races here yet, okay. Weather Track Raceway Laguna Seca first, okay. Willow Springs International both first. Northern Isle Speedway. That's the Sunday Cup I missed, and the reason I missed it because I probably had the car which was needed to collection. So let's catch up with that. So what do we need here? We need PP. We just need a road car and a PP at the level of 380. So let's change the car to something which suits that PP of 380. Uh, maybe let's sort it based on the performance points. Here we go. 380. Uh, Mazda, Sylvia, mm. maybe let's use that Sylvia, it's not something I drive too often. Cool, uh, car settings, quick look, mm. that's the only tires I have, I'm not sure if I can have any more or others, uh, let's enter the race. That car is stock, no changes whatsoever to it. So let's do settings, assist, so I don't know how old that car is, 88, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable ABS, it's not like I'm going to need a lot of braking here, and the rest is all off, so let's start. Now it's quick and easy, third gear as always at the start of a race, let's try to win it, it's just 5 laps on an oval truck. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. I don't know how fast are the cars on this on this track in this race. Oh, I see the first surprise. That was quite dirty. Didn't see that coming. So that corner has a higher angle, so it's easier to get out of it with the high speed. And this corner doesn't allow for as high speed as the other one, okay? I have to be a bit more careful in the second one. The angle here needs to be at a different profile than here. Of a slide there <coughs> on those comfort tires, comfort mediums. Final lap, final corner, a good advantage over second, considering that quite a big slide here, but all under control and P1. And a bit more of that hazy juice. Here we go. So I want to catch up with all those races which I might have missed just because there was a collection and I already had the car and I didn't have to do the race. 
So that was the first of them. Let's see what is next. Okay, first, good. Uh, Dayton International Speedway. Uh, yeah, that's done, and that's uh, I don't have a car ready for that. Okay, so that was one in America. Let's see if there are any in Europe. Uh, Goodwood. No, Brands Hutch. Yes, so there's one in Brands Hutch, which is the Sunday Cup 500. Interesting. I'm curious what kind of car that was. I already did 600, so that was definitely before. That requires a European car, road car, with the 500 pp. So. Uh, it's already sorted. So 500 pp. We have a Sirocco at 500 pp. That may be actually a good choice. I like the Sirocco. So let's try. That will be also stock. I've never tuned it. Brands have such a nice truck. Uh, Lopez has something to say. I'm the instructor in the charge of National A license. If you would like to take a next step with your driving, having a go at the National A license is a good idea. I already did that, so let's just have a quick look at settings. That car is quite new, so there will definitely be an ABS. Quick is enough, let's, let's calm down and do it properly. happened at the first time that the Alpine dropped to the P3 because it looks like it's in P1 again. I'm with a good advantage over P2 looking at the map. Okay, this time I have the inside. That was the right speed for that corner. They won't be racing here because they're too wide and they parked me but I had a better exit and still managed to jump to P2 before the end of lap 1. seconds this time, much closer than last time on that fail attempt. So let's hope this one's not going to be failed, but successful. This is going to be close here to that corner. out of this corner, I should have enough space here to get on the inside to the next one. 
and having it inside here should be easy now. I'm just going to keep that inside line just in case uh, he had better acceleration a little bit, but no. Good. Done. It was just 152 thousandths of a second at the finish line, but it was also a clean response, which is good. Extra cash. So now it's all done. I'm missing one here as well. This time it's a Sunday Cup 400 pp. Let's look for a car which uh, meets the requirements. The Abarth. Okay, I'm going to use the Abarth. Uh, 392 out of 400, that's close enough. Hopefully, I'll manage. So that's uh, Al Sak, if that's uh, how it's pronounced. <clears throat> Looks quite simple. Uh, one tight right hander. Your record first. It says I'm f I was first here. Definitely not in that race, right? Oh, no, I was first here. Why did I think I wasn't? Okay. Nurburgring done. Deep Forest Raceway. Oh, that's the one which uh, hasn't been done. That is 500. Oh, that's zero commits the requirements again. Uh, let's use it. That will be the only, that will be only the second race using that car. Uh, no changes needed. A well-known racetrack. That, that last corner looks a bit different than I remember from previous games. Uh, maybe there's a different li layout um, to that racetrack in that uh, game. Okay, let's start. Uh, Pajandet, or whatever. Bonjour, my name is Florent Pajandet, and I hail from a small village in France called Fumichon. You won't often see me without my trademark hat. To do well here at Deep Forest, you need to master the S bend section and control your throttle on the inclines. Okay. Make sure you accelerate in a way that allows you to stick to your racing line. We'll try our best. Uh, can I change anything to the car? No, so I'm... Yeah, I, I have to be on those hearts. Let's do it. Resistance. a good series of overtakes. Chasing the Renault. Three 
three seconds. And even less than that. the power he needs to overtake me here on that straight. Okay, he's coming on the outside. On the outside of the next corner, it will be all about this braking here now. Depends how fast he is in that last corner, the left hander here. It's half a second difference, that should give me the win finally. Done. That was an easy with that Mercedes uh, Alpine in the Sirocco stock car, no changes to it at all. At least uh, this I prove it's doable. Okay, uh, let's see if there are any other races I missed uh, doing the menu books. So let's have a look at Nürburgring. I think I checked it, yes. Uh, so Autodromo Lago Maggiore. All done. Autodromo Nazionale Monza. There are no races even. Okay, that was just a championship here. There's a new, newly unlocked track, Red Bull Ring. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was doing already the FR challenge. And that looks something uh, that was missed. I think I was doing that in that car, so. 550? It's 600. And that is 550, okay. So... That will be that old M3 to use here. And Red Bull Ring. Well, that car is definitely an H pattern. Lopez, let's see what he has to say. I finally got my hands on my dream car, a BMW M4. Oh, it's raining. You can bet that I'm going to race with it. No doubts. Incidentally, it's looking cloudy out there today. I hope it doesn't start raining. Oh, it's already raining. If it does, you will need to be extra careful with everything you do. Settings. Uh, car settings. Sports mediums. Yeah, okay. This. Manual and no ABS in that car. Traction control on zero as well. Everything else off. An H pattern, let's start.
quite a piece in that corner and I cannot waste any time. I want to catch the first one. Let's try to get a bit more power to this car. It will be above 550. But then that M4 is so quick. That would be wrong place to finish. So <clears throat> let's go to extreme first. And uh, no, I don't want to. Quite a lot of power in this car. Oh, let's change the car. Let's take this BMW. Let's see if we have power restrictor.
that power restrictor. So by the ballast, here we go. Base. Now back to the race. That was Europe. The bull. in a good car. Let's enter. Let's do some changes. Raining? It's not raining, so... Port softs. And... Assist that has ABS. Settings. Ballast here. Transmission. Problem. Oh, there are more more options here. Okay. Everything here, that's nice. Oh, there's also carbon. This is just a just uh, balance, uh, ballast. Ah, here we go, power restrictor. Let's keep the power where it is. Let's add some ballast. Change much. Not. Yeah, let's keep it like that. Someone went really wide there in that 30 CSL. leaving me a lot of space in those corners. Bastards. That car has so much more balance than the old BMW.
seconds should be doable in that car. Mistakes like that can cost me a lot. Four seconds in the first one, even four. That's a lot less. Close. Yeah, it's pulling away in, on straight. But a win is a win. Just going to check if I have any other races I missed. Last one in Europe. That's done, and there is also Italy, Sardinia, all done. So Japan is uh, the last one left to check. Realize that it's all showing uh, below. I don't have a car for that. That's done. That's done. Okay, I missed that this time. Fast, that's different. There are two in Japan, but that will be for another day. Uh, was long enough session today. I'll be finishing now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.